I'm both nervous. I'm excited. I think I'm feeling every possible emotion right now. Every five minutes, my it changes. Yeah. Uh, but I'm just now like ready for people to watch the film. I'm really curious to know what the response will be. Okay, and you? I've been waiting three years for the world to see this. When I heard this script, I was excited for uh, my audience to experience this film. Uh, I thought it would take a year, but it took three. Uh, so I just can't wait. Uh, for them to get their hands on the film and experience it. Okay, how was it working with Mike Tyson? It's a memory for life. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's scary. Uh, at the same time, he's very sweet. Yes. Uh, so it's a mixture of being scared and enjoying working with him and enjoying being around him. She yes. thinks he's a teddy bear. Really? I said he's a gentle giant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, as he said, he's like a mix between scary and sweet. Uh, but it's a like as he said, he said it all only. Yeah. But it's a memory for a lifetime. And sometimes I still, when I think about it, I'm like, did it really happen? Yeah. Did we actually go? Uh, so yeah, and I think people will really enjoy uh, his role in the film because every time he comes in the trailer, the audience just goes wild. Yeah. And uh, one thing I want to ask both of y'all is, can you all share like a fun like anecdote from like what happened during the shoot and everything? Like I any fun story? I recently thought of something. I just knew you waxing. Oh, did he get? Did he wax himself? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> no, he had to. No, but basically, but we were in Goa. Uh, we were in Goa shooting something, and uh, we uh, had to call him for something. So I went into his room, and I could just hear him like shouting in pain. And that time, we weren't like that friendly. So I was like, should I go in? Should I not? And then I go inside, and he's just like waxing his body. Uh, and I was like, now you get it. So how was the experience of waxing? <laughs> yeah. Or the film? It was the first time. It was, uh, and I'm just uh, thankful to God that I was born a boy, and like I feel very sympathetic towards women for all that they have to do yeah. on an everyday basis. Like just you guys have longer hair yeah. <laughs> to take care of it. I had long hair. I had this this length of hair, and it was uh, oh, after. You're not talking about. I was talking about body. Yeah. No, uh, no, oh. no. Oh, you mean like hair? Yeah, okay. this this itself like this length drove me mad. After two years, I just couldn't take it. But just everything that you all have to do on an everyday basis. She has to go one hour before me yeah. to do hair and makeup and clothes. Uh, so I get like an hour sleep more. Okay. So every day I feel uh, uh, that it's so much easier. Uh, we we had it easy, yeah. like unfairly we had it easy. Okay. Okay. One more question. So we you you all clearly have like a very love for. She has nice taste in music. Okay. She's. Uh, I picked up some of her music, uh, and she has a very good knowledge of uh, the world. Like wherever you go in the world, if you want, it's food again. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> any places you want to go to, it's she's the like one source. You can just text okay. her and say, "I'm in Japan. Where do I eat?" And she'll give you because she has a group of people who are uh, who have a list. Okay. So for any first time travelers to any any place, we always text her and say, <laughs> uh, "Please send a list of." Recommendation. recommendations and what have you picked from him with uh, vijay i like talking about life i like his perspective on life he has a very different take <coughs> on everything he has a uh, general knowledge about the world he reads body language he's <laughs> he's like he's like a good person yeah. to talk to when you want like perspective on life okay another question is one thing you love so for you sir you start <laughs> yeah okay i guess then later i'm like should i should have said I'm like, oops! I should have said this, you know. Okay. So about Vijay, I love. What is it? Love, hate, and love tolerate. And tolerate. Yeah. I love his guts in general about mm. everything, about his choices, about the way he conducts himself, yeah. just his guts in life. I hate that sometimes I I don't know what he's thinking, okay. and I tolerate when he doesn't appreciate when I get good food. <laughs> and what about you? I um, I don't know if it's love, but I admire that at her age she's doing what she is. She's a really young girl. I don't think at 23, I w I was capable of handling the things she's doing. Uh, hate. I tolerate her questions for sure. For now. Uh, and uh, I hate that. I hate her coffee. It's terrible. Really? Yeah, she has terrible taste in coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last question to you. Uh, no, actually, this is the second last. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So my. <laughs>
who's next on your list as far as director or co-star co is like concerned who would you want to work with there's so many people i want to work with but i really i'm dying to work with sanjay leela bhansali sir okay yeah. and any who actor uh ranveer singh ranveer singh yeah <laughs> sweet and what about you oh okay. director and anywhere yeah director and actor there's lots of directors i want to work with there's lots of talent out there and uh, i think uh, both director and actor actresses uh, like who is ready to work with me I, i'm i'm ready to work with them okay yeah yeah okay yeah. and last question about your chappals it's actually trending all over social media it is yes people are like really and you know this yeah yeah people are really doing so what was the uh, thought behind you like you know taking this uh, thing ki you know let's make chappal fashionable it, again it, for the entire promotions we've seen you wearing chappals is it just comfort or was there something symbolic behind it it's a mixture of a lot of things uh it was an easy choice to make uh you have to think less less luggage space uh and uh it's also the mood i was in yeah. uh and in some way the movie i'm promoting is about a boy who comes from a small town with big dream uh so it was that and uh, uh i haven't said this before but there was a time where i uh we've all won chappal in yeah. our lives we've all grown yeah. up on chappal um uh, i have money to buy whatever i want right now So there was this time where I was at a at a at some event in Bombay, and uh, I was wearing an expensive uh, pair of chappal, and it had become news. Uh, and someone had sent it to me and said that uh, designers matter. Uh, and I told them that no, they don't. Uh, when I promote Liger, I'll wear chappal and make it news. Uh, and uh, so I won them and. Uh, chapels as cool as anything else yeah. and it has become news big news yeah, now yeah <laughs> bigger news than that so to to the two three people who send me those articles you know who i am who i am talking about and i've proved proven you wrong so chapels are damn cool how